our nation's facing the most diverse array of threats that I've seen in my 53 plus years in the intelligence business. Top U.S. intelligence official James Clapper announced his resignation Thursday, but not before laying out a long to-do list for whomever President-elect Trump chooses to take his place. During the hearing, Clapper mentioned everything from ISIS to Russia's apparent efforts to influence the U.S. election. We have to uh, be alert to all of these threats. Uh, I wish I could rank them and uh, pick and choose which ones to worry about, but uh, unfortunately, um, they're all uh, a problem for us. And at the center of it all, a lone gunman. Two new major points of interest for the intelligence community are lone wolf attackers and cyber threats. I will leave this job uh, concerned about uh, the impact of uh, so-called lone wolves uh, or homegrown violent extremism. That the internet is insecure. And, and any time you have a dependency on the internet, uh, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to be playing catch up and, re and reaction. Clapper is only the fourth director of national intelligence since the position was created in 2005. He also served in the position longer than any of his predecessors, having held it since August of 2010. During his tenure, Clapper drew criticism from both sides of the aisle, especially after Edward Snowden's revelations about the NSA.